Sign numbers. When addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division are used in arithmetic to solve problems, always use positive numbers. However, in algebra, you will also learn to do mathematics with both positive and negative numbers. These numbers are called directed numbers or sign numbers. Sign numbers are simply directional numbers which are either positive or negative in relation to a point or origin. Example, this thermometer is a very good device to help us fully understand what is meant by negative numbers and positive numbers. We know that water freezes at zero degrees Celsius, as indicated here. The numbers above that are positive numbers. The numbers below zero are negative numbers. And the idea can be further uh, explained. Think of the sea level. This model uh, will help us further understand the idea of a positive and negative number. So we're looking at a submarine here below the ocean. And so we're looking at a negative number. And again, the airplane above the boat, we're looking at a positive number. This can also be explained in terms of a checking account. We know that we have a certain amount of money in our checking account. Well, if we write too many checks, then we're looking at negative numbers here. We don't want that to happen. But if we put in a lot of deposits into our checking account, then we want a positive cash flow in our account. Just a variety of ways that negative and positive numbers can be used, and they are all applicable to the real world. But more commonly, what we see is a thermometer to help us fully understand what is meant by a negative number and a positive number. The key is, is they start, the positive and negative numbers, they start at one certain point, and that would be the origin. Uh, in this case, it's the zero point that we're looking at. Uh, for Celsius, water freezes at zero degrees Celsius and boils at 100 degrees Celsius. With the Fahrenheit scale, we know that water freezes at 32 degrees and boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Both these are positive numbers. The number line that we have here on the board, we can see that we have identified our 0, 0.0. The numbers to the right of our 0 are positive in nature. The numbers to the left of 0 are negative, which can be very easily identified. Here we have a positive 7, so we can write that as positive 7 or just 7. Either of the two is correct. Uh, here let's identify negative 8. Well, in writing negative 8, we have to include the negative. That's critical. If we don't do that, if we just write 8, it's assumed that it is positive. We don't want that to happen. So when identifying a negative number, indicate that as a negative and then whatever the digit is in this place.